2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And the player introductions are wrapped up. The starting fives for both teams. As we're just about ready to get this one started. Well, we can finally say the NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside. David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Center Rob Williams is a big reason. <laughs> David, thanks. And opening day is here. So, what are these players right now, Greg, feeling as they tip off this brand new season? Mostly excitement. I mean, this is their first chance to showcase all the hard work they put in during the offseason. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Front court is Thibault and Harris. Stephen Curry's out there with DeAnthony Melton. And it's Embiid in at the five. And for the Celtics. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. And it's Smart in at the point guard position. Harris outside. Melton finds Thibel. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And the three ball is good. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. You get the sense there is a level of intensity right out of the gates. Now here's Smart. This one for three. Rebound by Joel and B. Here's Fibel, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Teardrop shot. Here's Embiid, and he banks in the lane. Well, and you see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Now here's Smart. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. There's Brown with the three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And Marcus Smart, GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team but, but hate to play against. <laughs> yeah. And teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Curry. They get First, Stephen Curry. Oh, Marcus Smart, First a tenacious defender, which doesn't always show up, I think, sometimes, Doris, on the statistical sheet after the game. Well, and in fact, Kevin, different teams have different defensive metrics trying to measure that impact. All you have to do, though, with Marcus Smart is watch the guy work on that end, the way he tracks the play, the way he anticipates, just the energy he brings on the defensive end changes the equation. Guys, you think about the Boston Celtics, and obviously the offense is driven by the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So much of what Boston does starts with their wing play. And Doris with Tatum and Brown, if they aren't scoring, they're creating for others. Yeah, both Jason and Jalen took major steps as playmakers, understanding the value of their teammates as release points, as guys who can take some pressure off in terms of the scoring load. And listen, neither guy is finished improving. And so he makes both from the line. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And <laughs> while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. I'm sure he'll take the trade off. Kept alive, MB. And that Joel one is MB. good with the extra effort on the glass. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. Well, what sets him beat apart is he does it with such ease. Now here's Williams. The kick out to Tatum. Now 
and the layup is good. Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is nice. Curry fires from way outside. Rebound by Williams. Celtics trail by four. Here's Smart. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Here's Feibel. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. Feibel can't get it to go. Outside, Horford. Embiid against Tatum. Jacks up a three. And no good that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Inside, Embiid. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Embiid's got six points. And the strength of Embiid oftentimes just overwhelms the defense. Able to absorb physical coverage and still. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting Something. two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. You're smart. And here's Tatum for three. Knocks down the three ball. Tatum's got a second bucket tonight. Absolutely a threat. You've got to be on Tatum on the catch in three-point territory, or just like that, he will shoot lights out. Now, here's Melton. Curry can't get it to go. I think he's got to settle down, because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter, he has been completely bothered. Swiped away. Melton with the ball, picked up by Brown. Pass to Curry. Three-pointer. Buries the long-range jumper. Well, you have to have innate sense of when to come off and get ready to catch and shoot. Stephen Curry's been doing it a long time. Smart deciding where to go with it. Brown outside. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And beat got rebound number five here tonight. Got a piece of it. Taken away by Williams. Poked loose. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by four. Here's Smart. Boston, no good that time either. The 76ers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. By himself. And slam dunk by Smart. Now that's about amazing quickness. How about Marcus Smart's ability to beat everybody up the floor with that burst? Philadelphia's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Bible on the wing. And Philadelphia with another turnover here. And some changes here for the Celtics on the court. Grant Williams comes in for Robert Williams. And Brock. And it's the 76ers with the ball. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. The wing pairing, it's Harden and Thibel. And it's Curry in at the one. Thibel on the wing. He's covered by Brown. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. The Anthony Melt. He's jacked in for James Harden. Bounce pass from Smart from about 16, and he drops that one in. White's got the lead up to three now for the Celtics. You have to be dialed in from the mid-range. Derek White says, I can do that too, folks. And Tucker kicks to Thibel. And there's the pass to Milton. Down low, Embiid. Count the bucket wow. coming off a perfectly placed assist. Embiid's got eight. Oof, what a scary sight. Joel Embiid with all that momentum. 
taking it to the hoop, looking like a freight train. Here's Smart. Hits the three-point bomb. Nine points in the game so far. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Curry with it. Williams picks him up. Curry passes to Thibel. Five to shoot. Releases. Offensive rebound. Embiid's shot is good. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Celtics passing it around. Round outside. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. And taken away by Brown. Here's White. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And the Celtics lead by four. That's all about determination from Derek White. Doesn't let the contact deter him. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. An emphatic LU jam. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. I go on the wing. Just a tucker. Outside Curry. Lends it go with a three. Al Horford with the rebound. Celtics leading by six. Smart dishes to Brown. Launches a three. Smart misses. 76ers have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Here's Weibel. It doesn't go for him. And it's Boston the other way. And great, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a total run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top tier talent on this roster. And after the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And you got to appreciate how much Robert Williams just gets after it on defense. You really do, because he wants to block every single shot that goes up. He hits the glass now with a level of aggression after being challenged by his coaching staff. And goodness, his teammates love his energy. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Curry wide open and just miss after miss right now. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this field back. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Here's Curry with the three. Happy to see that one Seven. drop, shooting a poultry three. two for nine. Three points. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. You're smart. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. And it's smart with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Eight point game. Outside, White. Back to Smart. On the wing, Brown. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Thibel kicks to Embiid. A three-pointer off the mark. Celtics leading by eight. Outside, White. Shoots over Melton. White, good. White's got eight. 
Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. Elton finds Curry. Williams with the block, and he's able to get it back. Lock at six. Let's a floater go, and there's the bucket as Melton finishes it off. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Well, time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And Greg, up and down the Celtics roster. So many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. Austin Oak gonna switch here. Richards checked in. Then for the 76ers, Montrez substitution on the court. And so it's the Boston Celtics finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels. And it's gotten them up big. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Doc. I heard you imploring your team stick to the game plan and know your personnel. What's that mean? Yeah, we keep messing up coverages, you know. I get messing up on some guys, but that can't happen, but it did. So we just got to move it forward. We'll see if the communication picks up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He had 20 points, two block shots, and one assist. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles their last time out. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Their passing was clearly superior in the first half. They were playing a team game, not one-on-one basketball. -on -one good player movement, good ball movement, and they have a healthy lead to show. And Shaq, what'd you think about Philadelphia? The shooting percentage they allow was through the roof. The coach should absolutely be ripping into the defense now. They need to take some pride on the other end. Just lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harley. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. And it's smart and at the point. That's the Boston Five. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drop that happened a moment ago. And it's plays like that, Kevin, that show you why they are so far ahead. Didn't settle for anything outside and went right to the rim. Here's Embiid. And the shot is long. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Bounce pass from Smart. Brown inside the line. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Eibel on the wing. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Here's Embiid. Williams with the block. Well, the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooting. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. 
And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Outside Tatum. This will blow. This kid is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. We know that Jason Tatum is a gamer. This guy willing to take punishment on his way to the cup. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the final. And during his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. G.A., think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the distance to seven games for Tatum. An incredible test and growing opportunity. Anthony to me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. Tatum finds smart. to Tatum. Good and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. Passes to Harris. To the inside. Pass to Melton. Harris dishes to Curry. Shot clock at five. There's the triple. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Brown's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Here's Smart. And there are the Celtics with another basket. 80% shooting to start the third. Four for five. Timeout, Timeout call for 76ers. Yeah. And in the last decade, defenses switching on screens has increased dramatically. Is this the new normal, you think? Kevin, I think so. I think teams that switch well tend to defend well. Because switching can create mismatches, but it's harder to punish those now with all the help defense. DJ Tucker, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Philadelphia. Bible on the wing. Back to Melton. It's stolen by Brown. Smart passes to Tatum. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball. ball. So far, he's hit all of his at shots the at the foul line, Celtics. going four for four. Jason Tatum at the line, shooting one. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. And the foul on Marcus Smart. Marcus That's Smart. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Curry against Smart to the paint. Here's Embiid. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Personal foul. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. Curry with the steal. Oh, and here comes Curry all alone. Looking to end his cold spell. And he lays it up and in. Curry. Curry's got 12. Boy, you get Steph Curry rolling downhill in the open floor. He can finish off a break with such style. Left side, Horford. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Seven points in the game. Mark. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Tucker with the ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Melton kicks it to Tucker. It's Curry outside. And Boston with the rebound. 
Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of fall. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. The pass to Embiid over Tatum. And there's Joel Embiid. That's Embiid. good on the assist by Curry. Embiid's got five points now in the quarter. Outside, Tatum wants to get it to Smart and does. Here's Brown, and it's Boston with another. Well, you catch the defense off guard by being willing to fire as soon as the ball touches your hands. Pass to Melton. Back to Curry. Over Smart. They get it back. MB falls Joel right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Beach got rebound number 13 with that last one. And the shot is good. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. You're smart. And he's way off from outside. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it. But it just has not been there for him tonight. You might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Back to Tatum from downtown. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. The 76ers trail by 20. Going inside, dents the rim with a two-hand slam. As great as he is as a scorer, what we know unequivocally about Stephen Curry is he wants to find his teammates. Now a timeout called by Boston. Well, things not going their way. He wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? And a new group in for the Celtics. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in. For... Philadelphia shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. The wing pairing, it's Harden and Feibel. E.J. Tucker is out there with Harris. And it's Curry in at the one spot. Locked in left side. Over Curry. And they get it back. Williams gets the bucket. They are trying to keep Williams off the board. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. And another great look at the 2K drive. Bible on the wing. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Jason Tatum. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. And a moment now, we're going to take a look at the offensive approach for the Celtics. Taking guys, the he hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. They've also made a concerted effort to get the ball down low. Many of their points coming in that painted area tonight. Stephen Curry. Second personal foul. First team foul. Curry against Smart. And the basket is good. The call goes his way. And we could be looking at a three-point play. Defensive foul. That's his second personal foul. Just over a minute play here in the fourth. Foul. To the middle, Tucker. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Tucker. Curry's got five assists tonight. Oh, that's just superb coordination and balance right there. Tucker's hard to move once he gets the ball inside. Nice shot by Smart. Smart's got 19 points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Harris with it. Williams picks him up. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. And 76 is making a switch here. Embiid's checked in. Joel Embiid. Oh, 
on the inbound. Harden. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Second. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player. But now in his early 30s, the question can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injuries. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. And here's Tatum for three. It's not going to go for him. And Philadelphia the other way now. Passes it to Harris. 76ers moving the ball around. Bible, the pass to Embiid. And he wills that Joel one in, Embiid. sinking right through off the back iron. Again, it's Joel Embiid. When he is on, there isn't one player in this league that can stop him. Here's Smart. Misses the three. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Pass to Williams. Back to Smart. Williams. He hangs in there and oh, catches in the second chance points. Just superb at reading where misses are going. Williams has a fantastic feel for when to go for that putback. Timeout call the 76 And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-around. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Then we'll see if they have enough to Thank you, David. Well, Stephen Curry in the painted area has touch, can finish with either hand. This guy is just so complete. You're smart. Drills it from outside. Smart's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Here's Harris. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Horford. The pass to Smart. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Let's it go from 11. No good off the back of the rim. And so Harden will bring it up for Philadelphia. Down by 15. Bible kicks to Harden. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Malcolm Brockton. And one thing that stands out about the Celtics is their defensive ability. And they've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. You're right, defense, it's been terrific for him. This Boston team, GA, certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And, Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. Philadelphia foul. Stephen Curry. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line, Marcus Smart. At the line for two shots. That free throw, no good. Marcus Smart is one of those guys you want in the trenches. He brings great effort on the defensive end every night, and he's a willing shooter at the most critical moments. And he's good on the second. The 76ers trail by 14. Pass to Harris. Down low. And Curry the bucket on the assist from Tobias Harris. The assist. And credit Harris Tobias. for creating that high percentage look. Scanning the floor and finding the best option. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Well, picking up where he left off. His second from distance is half five overall. Passes it to Harris. Fires 
fires from the line. Embiid wide open. Trains the three-pointer. Embiid's got five points now in the quarter. And this coaching staff loves to see that kind of aggression from Embiid. No hesitation on the jump shot. That's the mentality they want out of a big man. Now, Thibel. The dish now to Kerr. From deep. And the 76ers get it back. Boston leading by 12. There's the lot to Brockton. Throws down the alley and slams. What a heady offensive player. Malcolm Brogdon just understands when to shoot, when to score. Beautiful. Curry gets to Harden. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. It's good. 25 points for Marcus Smart. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. On the wing, Harris. Harden against Brogdon. Here's Curry. No good that time. Good work defensively by Smart. Pass to Brogdon. Beyond the arc. Smart misses. The 76ers trail by 16. Harden scanning the floor. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. The Anthony Melton. He's checked in for the 76ers. Smart misses. Philadelphia's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Horford against Melton. Eibel on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Embiid. Excellent D there from Williams. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Smart dishes to Brown. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Harden's shot is off. Celtics leading by 16. In the corner. Tatum with it. Back to Smart. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists in the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Marcus Smart. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. To the inside. Kicks it out to Harden. Feeds to Embiid. Stolen by Smart. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. To the paint. It's tipped. Outside Tatum. Takes a three. And James Harden with the rebound. And even Without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. No, no good. And it's smart with the ball for the Boston Celtics. It's an 18-point lead. 
Here's Williams. Yep, that one goes in there. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreaker. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Harden the pass to Harris. We know, Greg, the league trending towards Boston small ball, but some teams Robert are having Williams. success playing the bigs up first. And I think the key is having yeah. versatile Team big ball. Ball. If they can space the floor Two and up. play in space, and also be able to cover Two smaller play. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They poured it out tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. Hope to see you again. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you got to have a short term memory. Uh, Sometimes shots just go in, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play. You're like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.